partnerships and the growth. Thank you so much, man. Uh, thank you so much. Honestly, dude, thank you so much for what you do on, on Twitter as well. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Ace Attorney. Two sex guys. Let's post going live. Capcom next, wasn't it? Next. Yeah. Let's just hashtag Capcom. And finally, don't forget to wish list Monster Hunter Wilds, the latest title in the Monster Hunter series. Here we go. We're all good here. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, guys. Summer 2024. Summer 2024. What's this title? There we go, guys. So we say tower defense, you kind of think, I kind of think of like Age of Empires and that kind of stuff. But this is like, Kuditsugame, Path of the Goddess. I absolutely love this and Capcom invited me to try it out first hand on Friday. That's why I went on Friday, that's why we didn't have a stream. Path of the Goddess will launch on July 19th, 2024. There we go. We're excited for you to immerse you. This is the sort of voice. This is the sort of voice I need for doing my videos. Elements of both action and strategy games. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess is set on Mount Kafuku, which has been covered by defilement. When the sun sets, the sinister seed emerged to attack the mountain. During the day, look at him free roaming. So it's, I don't think it's like Help Age of Empires, those kind of games, in that villages. aspect. Then you'll be able to give the villagers roles and choose where to place them. And you could do it during battle as well. It's critical to use your daylight time wisely. The game will test the player's decision-making abilities. During the night phase, the seed attack the villages. Fight with the protagonist So's graceful sword attacks. Look at Issue him. commands to the villagers, helping you to protect the maiden Yoshiro. Yoshiro, okay. Yoshiro, I called her. <laughs> the player repeats this day-night cycle and purifies villages with Yoshiro to bring peace. Oh, look after yourself, mountain. Atkins. Look after yourself, dude. The seed attack the villages in many different forms. Getting help from the villagers is essential to make it through the wide array of challenges presented. Oh, there's a centipede boss in this as well. The centipede boss fits in for support. what the boss we're doing right now. You can freely reset upgrades and redistribute them to other roles. Customize the roles however That's what you I want. love. So I, I like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There's You'll no cost to, to reset and stuff. So as you play through the game. Upgrade attacks, unlock archery, and use skills to summon the villagers. Look at there all that. A variety of elements Look at all the stuff you can unlock. Combine So's upgrades with abilities from Tsuba Guards and Mazo Talismans. Expand the strategies and actions the player can take. Good night, Atkins. Much love, man. Work Look after yourself. With the villagers and guide Yoshi. Don't see you tomorrow. I'll see you Wednesday in your stream, all right? Get yourself a cheeky raid. Next, take a look at this. That's Kunitsugame, Path of the Goddess, guys. Oh, the demo's coming out. Oh, <laughs> they didn't tell us this. They didn't tell us the demo was coming out. Can make some more content now because there's some stuff that I wish I'd had content on as I'm talking about it. So that's the first boss, that one there. Yeah. 
Yes, grab the demo, guys. Honestly, grab the demo. I know the strategy. Uh, the demo version will be available from today. There we go. Although the strategy idea may not appeal to some people, but you have to try it because I've never played a game like it. It's definitely something because of the main character being controlled like this, you're free roaming with that character. It makes a massive difference to just putting your characters down and then just hot sitting back. Oh, new announcement. What's this? It's a collaboration. I've never played Okami. To celebrate the demo version, Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess will have a collaboration with the 2006 action adventure hit Okami. Who's played it? Collaboration costumes for the main character, So, and the maiden Yoshiro. There will be collaboration weapons, and we have collaboration Ooh, look at that music weapon. in the game as well. In order to celebrate the Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess demo, we are having a special festival. The started demo version. One of the themes of Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess is working with others to achieve a goal. Let's gather if one billion crystals. I was calling them orbs on my video. Ah, oh, made a mistake there. We will include the Okami 15 lucky mallets hidden within the demo version. On release day for everyone who purchases there we go, a guys. copy of the game. So well, obviously one billion between every single player, details, not not just you. Social media accounts. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to be getting involved in that. Please try it, guys. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess is available for pre-order. The Mazo talismans for So and a mini art book are included as pre-order bonuses. But the artwork is stunning on Check this game. Check out the demo version available today. Just like a Zenoga. They got Zenoga's colours. <laughs> yeah, July 19th. I've done a video on that. It's about a little three minute uh, long video. I'll put it on YouTube. If you're on my YouTube channel, please check it out. Next up, a new look for some fan favourites. Want the inside scoop on the recently revealed Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster? We've put together Who remembers Dead Rising, guys? top secret programme full of undead mayhem. Join us as we sit down with key development team members from each title to unearth the secrets of Dead Rising and the new look for Resident Evil 7. First, yeah. take a look at the trailer. Oh, thank you for pinning that sheep. We recently got back into it, uh, Fate. How does it play? How does it play then? Because obviously it's a HD remaster. Uh, how does the OG play to like today's standards? Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days. <laughs> Frank West. I've forgotten his name. Into, yeah, yeah, Frank West. Different. Is it, is it, is it, is it a struggle? What? Like, um, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 was a bit of a struggle. The OG, I mean. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. I remember, like, you remember State of Emergency, that kind of thing. Get over here. It just felt, it just felt like, go around doing whatever you wanted to do. <laughs> Look at that. The cameraman with the old backlit. Oh. <laughs> Love these games that take, don't take themselves so seriously. Getting rid of the hordes along the same lines. Uh, took a little bit getting used to. It. That's September the 19th. They're loving the 19th, so July 19th what is. What you uh, just witnessed is the newly uh, released trailer Gami. for Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. You may be thinking that looks like a full-on remake. We had the same thought, so we spoke with three key staff to get to the bottom of this deluxe remaster. We began our investigation with director Ryosuke Murai. Oh, the, that, well, you, actually, could you could tell the dog then. The dog was a massive difference. A remake, considering the work we put into it. It's a lot lighter as well. Before we could even ask a question, Murai was giving us the inside scoop about the game. 
The first thing you'll notice is the improved graphics. The new specs allow the game to run at 4K graphics aside, FPS. I think I think one of the things that I found was the con yeah, the, made the controls. The the controls like the ability to move while aiming. Yeah, as so well they've, as they've, other they've made the controls make better. Frank more intuitive. Yeah, moving moving the character around. Thanks to popular demand, we've added an auto save feature and fine tuned the user interface. Didn't have auto save last time. Will be fully voiced in nine languages, with text in fourteen, giving more players around the world a chance to enjoy characters' dialogue. We've also made some improvements to NPC behavior that we hope will make surviving the zombie apocalypse with all the <laughs> colorful characters Piggyback. much more enjoyable. Look at them all. That sounds like a complete overhaul. It makes me wonder if the game's main concept is still intact. If you've played the original, rest assured that its core remains unchanged in the So it's not a re it's not a remake, it's we a did remaster. Our best to respect the direction of the original game. Yeah. We kept the fundamental gameplay the same while improving upon the user experience. With this, we believe that both veterans and newcomers alike <laughs> will be able to enjoy a fresh a experience. Our goal was to ensure that today's players would experience the same shock oh, German suplex felt when the original game was released. Of that. Of that. We believe we accomplished this goal with Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. We hope that everyone will give it a try. Definitely. Unable to get any definitive answers out of Director Murai, we gave art director Satoshi Takamatsu the third degree. It turns out he had ambitions of his own for this project. Because the original 18, came out years, 18 ago. years ago, there were many limitations. It was reminded you against Zangief. <laughs> Do you reckon that's what they did? It was his base of technological advancements. We were his able base to model with his abilities. couldn't be done back then. For example, Resident Evil, Capcom's other zombie franchise, focused on quality over quantity. Yeah. Dead this is Rising took a different approach. Lot more, a lot more going on. Was to pack as many zombies as possible into that huge shopping mall. That's why it feels different. This meant each individual zombie wasn't as polished as we would have liked. There's too many of them. Oh, oh, look at that difference! We were able to focus on quality as well. As the art director, I couldn't be more pleased. I'm so glad that they've done it that way. They've showed us what it used to look like. To both the main character Frank and all of the NPCs. Of course, another critical aspect of Dead Rising that we have to address is the Jacket's shopping mall different. setting. In the original game, the Willamette Parkview Mall is made up of several areas, like Entrance Plaza and Paradise Plaza. Who remembers Plaza, this well? Each with its own unique characteristics. We've taken these designs and evolved them even further by adding real-time lighting and shadow effects so that each location takes on a different appearance depending on the time of day. Oh, I'm interested. That's how much detail we've put into this project. So keep an eye on that when it's night time and the daytime. For animations, we tried to limit unnecessary changes and use the original data as much as possible, especially during action scenes. This is the HD upgrade, isn't it? We could have made them more realistic with today's tools. But we wanted to preserve <laughs> the unique and comical movements yeah. that made the original Dead Rising so special. Tell you what, back in the day, a shopping trolley in a computer game made it 10 out of 10. And I'm talking about the Smackdown games, those wrestling games with shopping trolleys in. Looking for. However, we couldn't stop there. We had to know why this is called a deluxe remaster. To do that, we tracked down the game's producer and managed to get his account. Is the whole pa package called Deluxe? I think Dead Rising is a unique game with extremely tight game design, even by today's standards. Kind of, I don't think it was any DLC However, with it, was there? We also knew the original game was released 18 years ago, and that improvements were needed to reach a modern audience. That's why we focused on improving playability, in addition to overhauling the graphics. This game truly deserves me? the title of Deluxe Remaster. 
Its unique game design allows it to stand apart from other zombie games. It feels fresh even today. Morimoto took a moment to compose himself before divulging something terrifying. Ooh. Here at Capcom, we're no strangers to zombies. But this game takes it to another level. With a wry smile on his face, Morimoto took out his phone and showed it to us. And there it was, Resident Evil 7, in a form we never imagined. Capcom is thrilled to bring its oh, there we go. Resident Evil title to the iPhone 15 Pro and other Apple devices. The game has been optimized greater than ever before. To <laughs> it's insane, the man. RE We're living in a world where Resident Evil 7... Resident Evil Village and RE4, using a controller like the DualSense, or a mobile controller that attaches directly to the phone, allows for a surprisingly comfortable gameplay experience. I do want one of them controllers. That we're living in a world where we're playing Resident we're playing Evil 7 on our, on our iPhone. We felt the standard virtual controller just didn't Madness. Matter. So the development team took it upon themselves to optimize the touch controls for Resident Evil 7 on iOS. One of the biggest challenges we faced was implementing the auto fire feature. You can enable this setting so that your weapon fires automatically when aiming at an enemy. Making it much easier to play without the use of peripherals. Oh, that's me. I need that. The early Resident Evil games also had auto-aiming. Despite the differences in specs, Morimoto wasn't willing to compromise on usability. With Apple's help, he was able to take on new auto challenges aiming. that prioritized the immersive experience. The menu, options, and inventory are now all touchscreen compatible, allowing for a more intuitive experience. The first part of the game is free to play. Resident Evil 7 is guaranteed to be frightful you have to buy the chapters. If you have a compatible device, we highly recommend checking it out to see what you think. That survivor mode on Resident Evil was in crazy. Resident Evil 7 has sold 13 million copies. Now it's I wonder available if, in a new form on if it's Apple got, devices. If it's got everything Up in it as well. confession from Koshi Nakanishi, the director behind the classic. Has he got like Resident the Evil tapes was, or do you have to buy well, the tapes? If I'm being honest, as a brand, we were off track. And legendary director Yoshinori Kawano discloses the secret origin of Dead Rising. Dead Rising. I feel like Dead Rising is the classic zombie game. In the second half of the program, we'll learn previously untold stories about how the games were developed. Ooh. Dead Rising <laughs> Deluxe Remaster. The music. The music just doesn't... Dead it's like something so serious, but then now nah, it's like, let's have some fun. Digital launch for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Ooh. Series S, and Steam. Digital comes out on the 19th of September, but physical doesn't come out until November. The Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered Digital Deluxe Edition will include additional costumes and mall background 17 music. costumes. And will be available with the regular version on September 19th. Dead Rising fans shouldn't miss the Dead Rising original pack included as a pre-order bonus. Pre-orders are available starting Look at the today. strength. That's good. Does he need 17? Does he need 17 outfits? I could almost get away with the Tyrant fight, but couldn't get past it. He's so it's got so much health. Yeah. The The thing is You just can't kill him, can you? You just can't kill him. Which make, that makes him scary because you have to run away most of the game. Oh, you want? Oh, so you want about Resident Evil One? Sorry, dude. Sorry, my bad. Sorry about Resident Evil Two. Bakers. Resident Evil Seven, which is Resident Evil Biohazard, for us over in the UK. Is it over in the West or over just in the UK? Major zombie games, Dead Rising and Resident Evil 7, come to be made in the first place. We interviewed the directors of both titles to learn more about the games. Uh, first, we have Koshi Nakanishi, the distinguished director of Resident Evil 7. Follow along as he shares previously undisclosed information about the game's origin. When we first started development, Resident Evil was... Well, if I'm being honest, as a brand, we were off track. The action element had been expanded, and fans reacted much more negatively than expected. In the end, an RE game has to be scary. Oh, interesting. So we took another look at it, and the general consensus from this fans is why the Seven is absolutely was that a creepy, Resident guys. Evil game is one that should scare the hell out of you. Yeah. That was the starting point for Resident Evil Seven. 
the baker's house, the loft, the this beginning. scene, this scene, guys, this scene is what I remember from Resident Evil I when I first played it. Try and make Resident Evil 7 into a game that would live up to the R Him turning movie. around by the fireplace. The fear-inducing Resident Evil that Nakanishi was after had a major impact upon its release. But the course that he chose was far from the path of least resistance. I've returned with 18 packs of bacon. Go on. Make a fear -focused resident Ross, dude. I need to go. I need to come round for some uh, for a bacon sandwich. Scratch. Please. Like the setting, characters, the game system. Anything if you want to be proper freaked out, if there's a Resident Evil game out there that you the that you you yeah, haven't played Resident Evil before, and you want to experience how to freaky it, it is, Resident Evil 7 is that game. Is that game. You have you obviously got Up four, point, five, six. RE had been third that, person perspective with the character on yeah. the screen. That are like this and more actiony in a way. Behind a character, it's not as immersive and frightening. Where this, there's probably about what, about person. 20, 30 minutes of the game where nothing happens, but you feel like it's going exactly to happen. We it feels like accomplish. something is going to happen, uh, and that is what I loved about the whole atmosphere the about this. For this game. We weren't sure now my kid has Elden Ring Platinum. Yes! GG's fight. What was the last trophy you needed? Mm. Resident Evil 7 is just manhunt for toddlers. <laughs> However, we trusted management's concepts and made what we thought would be fun. Kawano had a range of experience directing Mega Man oh, okay, okay, okay. Breath of Fire, and he was confident in this new genre. Breath of Fire. to put the main Oof. character somewhere that was overrun with zombies. Most games might ordinarily make their main character a cop or a soldier. A badass, decked out in gear, ready for the situation. Still a badass though, really. But we thought going in that direction would dilute the madness and unpredictability of the zombie outbreak. Yeah. He's taking it. So, we made him a journalist. Oh. We focused the story on him being trapped in a place full of zombies, trying to escape, and rescuing survivors along the way, so that they can all make it out together. It's going to be so much fun, man. Is it? Is it co-op? Kawano faced challenges during development. It's clear, though, that he still has the same thrill kill. passion for the GB, game. GB, welcome in, man. Welcome in. Apparently banned after three days on the area, market. There's a worldwide. zombie outbreak. We wanted the player to encounter people trying to escape. Thrill kill. Who have become a bit I recognise it, but I don't. Making I don't them remember. Feel like they're trapped in the outbreak. I actually saw a commercial on YouTube the other day for on the rock and roll racing. Team, we all like the one in the like 90s. Crazy game. flashback. But others who saw on the YouTube. game were kind of taken aback. Some even asked whether it was okay to make a game that was so violent. Yep. For a second, we started to doubt ourselves. You gotta be different, ain't you? You gotta be different. Such an innovative project was bound to grapple with. I'd say like GTA, friction. State of Emergency, had those Trump kind of games, uh, Dead Rising as well. We previewed it at a game show and got mobbed. Players loved that you could use a parasol to kill zombies. <laughs> Clear a path. So I knew we'd done it. I still can't say whether it was targeting core or casual players. But everyone loves zombies, and being able to mess around with them in so many ways. I thought people in Japan and abroad would all like the game. However, RE4, a game without zombies, was released the year before. Was Dead Rising trying to dethrone the RE franchise? It, it, it was different. It, 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 I think it felt different. Even though they were both zombies, it was like Capcom are doing also, another zombie. I think anything with zombies needs a sense of humor. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's different from Resident Evil for it to be his own game. But I think you need to laugh too. Wu Tang Shaolin style of Wu Tang laughs, Taste of Pain. You can have some tears as well. This is known in UK. Oh, okay, Resident okay. Evil on the other hand is cooler. The main characters are very cool. Like ripping the stilted legs off Colin a legless man and beating them to for death. The game was evident <laughs> from his okay. All right, okay. Shinji Fighting games made the Resident Evil game, so of course they have a sense of humor. Giant dolls appear and walk around, but I think we really filled Dead Rising with a ton Lego of heads. ridiculous stuff. Lightsaber. If you're looking for a clear answer to that question, in the context of this program, 
I think it's fair to say that Dead Rising is the classic zombie game. He loves it, does he? A lot of people Passionate played about the it. game I love that. when it first came out, but it wasn't the easiest to play. Now that it's been made a little more accessible, I'm excited for those who didn't play or couldn't finish to have another chance. That's, I think that's the whole point of stuff like this. When you remaster something, each of the directors had different experiences. People go, I don't want to play that. That was on the PS2. For their innovative and now we're like, they bring it out now. They're like, what's this game? Let's have a look. To draw out an intriguing bit of information from director Nakanishi. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, GB. I'm not. I'm not familiar with the series. Like, I know of it, but I've never played it. It was really difficult. Is that what it's from? What to do after seven? If you'd not battered a zombie to death with a carton of orange juice, then drank honest, said carton for health regeneration. Have you even tried Dead Rising? <laughs> I can't share any details just yet, but I hope you're excited for the day I can. Ooh, he's keeping his close his cars close to his chest. Here's a quick roundup of the games we introduced today that will be launching soon. Just them three, isn't it? Couldn't Sigame. Kunitsugami, Path of the, Goddess, the demo's out, guys. The demo is out now. Please get the demo. Try, Try it for yourself. Demo today. Listen to you, ma'am. Next, we have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which will be available for iPhone, With iPad, auto fire. With auto fire, guys. Section for free. And finally, 18 years after the original release, we have the original zombie paradise action game, Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. Look at that! Look at the horde. Average remaster. This Get the parasol out. Remaster, and we hope you're excited. New Japan <laughs> Pro Wrestling <laughs> Roundup Vibes. Is, that, is this how they round it up? Are available for pre -order. Look at him! This is our swing. I mean, Claudio. Sorry. For you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Dragon's Dogma. Two hours of Dragon's Dogma 2 during our limited time free trial campaign. Thought that was the end. Save data from the trial We've can gone be transferred back. when purchasing the full version of the game. Venture forth and get a taste of adventure set within a fantasy world. So you've not tried Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 2 then? Now, you've got two hours in. on to Capcom Summer Sale. Dragon's Literally Dogma just said goodbye. And Apollo Justice <laughs> Ace Attorney Trilogy are on sale for the first Objection. time. Objection. Also check out Street Fighter 6 celebrating its first anniversary. Exo Primal, Monster Resident Hunter Evil 4. If you've not played Resident Evil 4, absolutely games. legendary game. Loved it. Loved that Resident Evil. Be sure Evil 4. to check out the Monster Hunter anniversary packs available for a limited time on Steam. Jesus. Steam, Steam players are eating well. Here are the titles you can pre-order now. Please visit the official websites for details. Tune. But we done now, Mr. Capcom. And finally, no, we don't. don't forget to wish list Monster Hunter Wilds, the latest title in the Monster Hunter series. We're playing this, guys. We are playing this Monster Hunter Wilds. We are playing this. Are we good? I think that's it. There's no little secrets. No, we're good. That's it. That's it, guys. You know what? You've been in chat. Let's see who's won a. Uh, let's see who's won a giveaway. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one. Bang! Sly Penguin. <laughs> He's still here. Thought he went to bed. I want to wish list TS Village streams. <laughs> wish list the streams, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Um, right. Yeah. Will you guys? Let's do it. Will you guys download Kunitsugame Path of the Goddess demo? Uh, I don't know whether... There we go. Demo. The demo is free. Please, it's 10 gig. 10 gig get demo. Visually stunning. I'm not saying this because I got invited to it. This was genuinely something I was really, really interested in. And um, the demo is now available. I'm downloading it now. I'm going to make some more content. So on PS4 and PS5. So I guess it's going to be on Xbox One and XS. But because we're streaming, we're going to get a bit of lag. So we'll, we'll pause it for a second. Because we're streaming, we're going to get a bit of lag there. But yeah, I'd be surprised if demos aren't free. <laughs> yeah, sorry, GB. My bad. 
T.S. Villa needs to work on his wording. Um, I've done a video, guys. I've done a video. It's linked. Uh, I'll tell you what. Now we're off YouTube. Uh, I'll link the video to you guys. I made sure it was short and sweet. I've done it. It's only three minutes. I'm not in the video. My voice is in the video, so I'm kind of, I'm really, really nervous about how it's, uh, how it's been, or how it's going to be. Um, uh, what's the word? Received. There you go. This is my, uh, this is my video, my three-minute video of Kanitsugame, Path, Path of the Goddess. Um, it, I've, I've used my footage of because we got to record our footage when we went to the Capcom offices. I've used my footage. And I've done a voiceover of of what is going on in the footage, uh, and also my thoughts, because I think you're right. So, so you'll play the game. There'll be a tutorial in the game. I'm sure there is. Uh, it's probably the first level, but you'll play the game, and the tutorial is so easy to pick up. It it probably looks a bit overwhelming if you're watching other people play it at certain points of the game. But, or, or, or anyone else's videos and stuff like that. But when you're playing it through the tutorial, it's so easy. And it's so easy for me as a streamer, like I'm doing with Elden Ring, like I did with Dice Folk. It's just so easy for me as a streamer to talk through everything that I'm doing. Uh, and as I was playing the game, I was thinking, I could, I could talk through this, I could talk through that, I could talk through this. This would be so easy to play and there'd be no dead air whatsoever.